Hello, Solar Knight here. I received a question on my YouTube channel, and they wanted to know how to get to the First Ward. And I've been posting a lot of videos of me in First Ward and Night Ward, and those are zones that were added during Going Rogue. And they're actually part of Praetoria. Um, so the easiest way to get there is to actually be level 20 plus, early 20s, go into your contacts, and you'll find someone. I see if I can find them in my inactive. No, deactivated. Ah, he might be active at this point. Where are you? Well, I can't seem to access him, but there's a guy named the Doorman. And he will show up as one of your contacts. And he will say, hey, do you want to come to the first ward? And I had no idea what it was when I talked to him, but his name is the Doorman, and he has some crazy hair. That's where they the really odd. And uh, so the easiest way to get to the first ward is to basically teleport to him as a contact. Um, once you're there, though, you will have no idea how to get back to Atlas Park or Paragon City or anything. You will be lost. Um, it's a good thing that there's markers on the map to tell you things, but anyone who wants to go to first ward can, and you can get there simply from Atlas Park. You just go over to the tram, skip the tram a little bit, find what looks like the Milky Way galaxy <laughs> swirling around, and then you'll find First Ward and uh, Night Ward there. First Ward is 20 to 29, Night Ward 30 to 39, and they mean it. If you're in First Ward, um, you're going to get 20 to 29 missions. If you decide to go to Night Ward too early, you will basically be killed by the mobs there. So a couple cool things once you're in First Ward. Once I get in, I will show you. Actually, you're gonna see if I can get back to the doorman. It might be it might be something I can do to just to show you what he looks like. So here I am over here, and the door's over here. So when you talk to the doorman, he's gonna be on the other side of this wall. Loading once again. But I just want to make sure everyone knows how to get there. The simplest way, and the first way you're supposed to get there, is you teleport to the doorman in the underground. So here's the doorman, being all door-like. Yeah. And his job, of course, to protect First Ward. <laughs> to protect the rest of Praetoria from First Ward. There's a bunch of different uh, portals around. But after you talk to him, he's like, okay, you may enter the first ward and you're like oh, okay and this there's no like sign that says this is first ward or anything but you just if you just hopefully sort of click on the door behind him and hope yeah he's the doorman guarding the door to first ward so that is the easiest absolutely easiest way to get there once you get higher level 25 in your 30s you get a bunch more contacts from first ward and from night ward as options to teleport to so i mean it'll it'll be kind of overwhelming i have way too many contacts for First Ward and for Night Ward than it, like going to Brickstown or Independence Port or Founders Falls, like anywhere else. I'm like, I wanted to do missions there, but all my missions are in First Ward and Night Ward. Here, I'm going to look for something that's pretty interesting. The first time I got here, this is what happened. I found, like, this portal. And if you get close enough to these portals, you get this, this shadow shunt ability that shows up. So you click on it, just as a curiosity, and you're like, okay, what the heck just happened? I just got to First Ward, and now I'm loading a map to some... Oh, Night Ward. This happened to me the very first time I was in First Ward. Level 21, walked right up to that. Push thing, now I'm in Night Ward. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, how do I get back to First Ward? I don't know where First Ward is, let alone where Night Ward is. So, you know, I looked on the trusty map here and found the Paragon City Tunnel Connection. And I was like, all right, I'm going to guess that's where I need to go. So, I mean, this this video is to help you navigate the First Ward and the Night Ward because these are things that are going to happen to you because they're weird places. Like here, your enemies are just lightning storms and fire. And anyone who's watching my videos has seen me do a lot of different things here. Um, but there's the spooky mansion, the haunted mansion. So then you just come back over here and you're like, hey, send me back to First Ward. I don't, I don't want to be here. And yeah, so in general, that's the easiest and quickest way to get the First Ward slash Night Ward. There are zones that are level 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. 
you can pretty much spend all of your 20s and all of your 30s in these zones. The problem is they are ghost towns. So you're not going to find people searching for groups in them. No one's like you'll see one or two people maybe. Um, I guess this content doesn't appeal to a lot of people. I'm not sure, but as you can see, just there's no one here. I mean, maybe I can do a slash who slash who first. I think I had a perfect first ward, if that even works. All right, no heroes found. Let's find first ward. Search that. This is how many people there are in first ward. Now let's say you were like, hey, I'm gonna hang out in Brickstown. Yeah, you have a lot more options in Brickstown, and uh, Independence Port's another place you could be. Yeah, look at all that. So, like I said, no one really comes to First Ward to quest. The quest line is really interesting, and uh, I had to coerce my sidekick into coming here, and he ended up really enjoying it. So, you know, it was, it's been good. Um, I recommend coming here, just if not for the first uh, couple arcs you go through. They're really good story, very interesting. As you can see, I haven't even uncovered half the map. But, eventually, I will be doing an exploration video of this uh, zone, as I'm doing of all zones. Anyway... That's all you need to know about visiting the first ward and the night ward. This is uh, Solar Knight, signing off.